Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now April 11th of 2020 and ever since the release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans have been very intrigued about a post episode 9 era and the future of the Star Wars franchise in general and exactly how Disney and Lucasfilm are going to handle and evolve everything related to this brand throughout this entire decade. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now the thing about Disney Star Wars is that we too know that the new Disney CEO Bob Chapek is definitely hard at work on really creating new authentic stories for the new Star Wars universe that's really going to propel fans into a brand new mythology of the Star Wars franchise that fans have never seen before, both in Legends and of course in the current canon material. But what's even more exciting is that, of course, they're focusing on developing new Skywalker-oriented characters that are going to be a part of this new expanded universe. Now, I don't know if you guys had a problem with the concept of Rey Skywalker at the very end of Episode 9 like I did, but there's a lot of fans that did not like that concept, and there's also a lot of fans that actually enjoy it, mind you. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, and that's all welcome here below in the comments. So if you guys did like it or dislike it, let me know. Now the thing about this new expanded universe that is so exciting is the fact that Disney's new CEO Bob Chapek has allowed Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, George Lucas to really take advantage of this new expanded universe that's really going to create authentic stories related to the Star Wars brand. Now what's really exciting about all of this is that now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are finished with the rise of Skywalker, they are focused on their new Star Wars trilogy of films as well as their new Star Wars universe. Now currently the new Disney CEO Bob Chapek has been making key adjustments over at Lucasfilm to ensure that the future of Star Wars can be as successful as the MCU is and that creators George Lucas, Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni will be making key creative choices for the new Star Wars universe. One of the major retcons or one of the major plans by Lucasfilm is to bring back Luke Skywalker's son by creating a story that surrounds the tragedy of Luke's family, his wife and son, in the new EU. The new Skywalker is currently being developed that is going to be a Skywalker that will be considered the son of Rey as well in the Star Wars universe where it's noted that Rey, son, Rey's son in the universe will carry on the Skywalker legacy that this character, is, his appearance was, is going to be accurately based off the character of Cade Skywalker. However, Lucasfilm plans to rename the character for the new universe that will create less confusion between legends and canon. It's noted that the new Skywalker currently is under the name of Zane Skywalker. However, Disney and Lucasfilm wanted to create a different name for Rey's son, who will carry on the Skywalker legacy just like Cade did in the old EU. Now, Cade Skywalker and Zane Skywalker are said to be practically be one and the same as far as appearance and personality goes, and that this character will somehow be related to not just Rey, but also other Skywalkers like Luke, Anakin, and more. George Lucas is trying to find a logical explanation as to how Rey could very well be connected to the actual bloodline instead of just calling herself Rey Skywalker or even perhaps that Ben Solo and Rey's life force exchange is what conceived Zane Skywalker. So that's a very interesting point by Lucasfilm is the fact that they're trying to bring back Star Wars Legends into the mix into the Disney canon by bringing back Cade pretty much how he was in the Legacy Comics era, where he's a, he's a, essentially a descendant of Luke, uh, multiple generations, and this character is just going to have a different name as all. Going from Cade Skywalker to Zane Skywalker, you can see how it sounds similar, uh, but he's going to keep the same exact appearance as for the most part, as well as the same exact personality. Very interesting because it seems like that Lucasfilm now realizes that the Skywalkers are what sell, I'm just not quite sure how a lot of fans are going to react to the fact that this character is going to be connected to Rey primarily. Obviously George Lucas is trying to find a logical explanation as to how Rey could be connected to the actual Skywalkers. Like I've said before in the past, it's very possible that Ben Solo became a part of Rey's spirit. I think that's probably the best way to go, and that's probably the most logical way to go. It just makes the most sense to me at least, and probably the only way that you could really do it. You know, so when we ever think about the character of Cade, I know a lot of you guys out there are unfamiliar with this character. Cade Skywalker in the Legacy Comics, it's very interesting because that was probably the first time or around the first time that we got to see Luke Skywalker's Force Ghost. And it was never really heavily implied on exactly how Luke died in the old EU. We never really found that actual answer out. But 
The Force Ghost of Luke in the EU appeared as his younger self, so it was far different than how the Force Ghost was used in the new expanded universe, right? Very interesting, for sure. So, honestly, guys, you know, let me know what you think about everything related to this major retcon, ranging from Disney and Lucasfilm trying to develop at least two new Skywalkers, one connected to the character of Luke, being, of course, Luke's son. They're trying to bring back Ben Skywalker into the new EU. They may very well also change the name of this character to lessen the confusion between Ben Solo and Skywalker. So, yeah, like I say, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.